Welcome back to E Times Live coverage of the 2011 Design Con from Santa Clara, California, the uh, lovely convention center, hard by Great America. Um, a quick programming note before we get to our next guest, and the programming note starts with one word, beer. If you like beer, if you're an engineer in Cubeland, from Milpitas to Redwood City to San Jose to Santa Clara, come down because there's free beer today and tomorrow uh, from the show floor. And that's, that's not the only draw, of course. There's a lot of great technology, hardware, software, connectors. We've, we've talked the gamut this morning, but um, there's nothing like a little beer at the end of the day to kind of pick your spirits up, I think, right? That's a great idea. So next up, uh, we have my, my partner in crime in a couple hours, Paul Rako, the analog editor from, uh, from e EDN, who is now a, a part of our uh, brethren at, at UBM Electronics after our, our acquisition of you guys. And yep. we're uh, so pumped to be working with you. And uh, you and I are doing uh, the so-called Teardown Smackdown, a comparison of the Dell Streak and the Samsung Galaxy, uh, two of the hottest tablets uh, on the market in the last couple of months. And so um, let's just talk, give a little bit uh, about the highlights, because when we talked to Dipert and uh, Ween earlier, um, they gave sort of the high-level thing. We're going to videotape that one plus ours. Mm -hmm. And so that'll be archived uh, up on eetimes.com video uh, at some point in the near future. But uh, let's talk a little bit about the Galaxy Tab. and. Uh, and, and what you saw, and I guess we'll have a couple of special guest friends of yours there. Right, I got a couple engineering buddies to help me uh, tear into it and give their comments. And one works for one of the biggest touchscreen companies, man manufacturers in the world. The other is an application engineer at a semiconductor company. So those two guys had some great insights on what's in, in the guts of the machine. We got this box. This is the one we're going to give away, and I haven't opened it. So you can use the Amazon receipt that came and if you don't want the AT&T version, if you want the, uh, what is it, T-Mobile, yeah. there's a Verizon version. I'm sure the good people at Amazon will trade you for the one you want. This is the one we tore down and we'll of course have that at the show. We had some excitement. We uh, decided to see <laughs> what it took to break Gorilla Glass. And this is this Corning glass that's used in a lot of laptops and tablets. And so we just tore into this thing and hit it with a hammer. We, we bent it, and it takes an amazing amount of flex. And then finally just said, well, let's break it with a hammer. We can't, we're, we were too afraid of shattering glass getting in our eyes. Yeah. So we started bashing it, and it took four or five tries to get it to break. So that was fun. We have the charger. I guess we can give away the charger and the battery if you want. You can give away your glasses if you the, want. The iFixit guy will be there. Uh, some of the stuff. Oops, look at the little parts uh -oh. coming out. Uh, the nice carbon fiber style. It's not, I doubt it's real carbon fiber. Back. A little comparison of the form factors. Get my fat fingers out of the way. It's a little bit bigger. Um, certainly not iPad size. This is what? This is five. This is seven. seven yeah, inches? seven inch. Yeah. Ten twenty-four by six hundred. The for for an old guy like me with shady eyes, the high-res display really helped. It was, you know, a little bit bigger than an iPod, but uh, not quite as big as an iPad, unfortunately. Uh, we have the guts, the touch screen. We we actually, being hardware engineers, we actually pulled the back off, looked at the LED lighting, so you'll be able to see that. Cool. Uh, we have the frame. The, it's uh, we looked at the silvery color we said this is magnesium it's so light so being typical engineers we cut a chunk out of it and lit it on fire to prove it's it's magnesium and it is it did blow off so we've got videos of that that you've put up on the uh on your website yep, yep. the blowtorch the blowtorch that we lit off this and the the board itself there's just an immense amount of engineering in this you know, and, and we're touching on some of the issues the the antennas uh, in the presentation we'll be giving, I used a lot of pictures from the iFixit website. Right. And uh, they're a great outfit, and they had really high-quality photos. So rather than set up my own photo shoot, one of the things I noticed is the one they took apart had a white plastic. This is all the antenna stuff. And it occurred to me maybe it's based on the plan and the frequency. They use orange ones for AT&T. Oh. Could be. We're not sure. But uh, Francis and, and Eric, my buddies, commented a little about the antenna design. We're going to go over some of the chips and just run through all the various parts of this. Wow. 
So that is uh, coming up very shortly, 2 o'clock in the Chiphead Theater mm -hmm. uh, at the Santa Clara Convention Center. So if you're around, come on down. Uh, again, I'll say it again, we will uh, we'll videotape that and we'll, we'll archive it if, uh, if for some reason you can't uh, sneak out or your, your boss is, uh, has you chained to the desk, which would be unfortunate. And I would suggest calling the San Jose Mercury News because <laughs> that's a good story. So, uh, Paul, thank you very much. Okay. I'm looking forward to, uh, to our endeavor uh, this afternoon because we're going to have a good time. We're going to give away two tablets. We're going to give away one of these puppies, and we're also going to give away uh, the Galaxy. So, um, again, I'm not quite sure what more incentive you need to come down to the uh, convention center, but that's, that's pretty good. They're, these are worth several hundred bucks. Seven hundred was the receipt. Seven hundred dollars, and that, but that's without the plan, right? Yeah, that's no plan. And now I noticed on Amazon they're down to six twenty-nine. But uh, two of these are the receipts, fourteen hundred dollars. So thank you, UBM Electronics, for sending me fourteen hundred dollars in the mail a couple weeks ago. And wow, it was fun tearing it down. You guys are going to want to check this out. This is going to kill our profit margin. <laughs> it's unbelievable.